like I'm like sketchy or anything because I'm using this god awful camera and I'm in a room. I'm just a guy that texts you. Yeah, I got this stuff over here. It's my airsoft. Take them apart and modify them, whatever. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what the barrel looks like. Let me show you. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ugh. I did that for soundproofing. Um, so you see I have that in there. Basically, when you take this thing apart, you're going to find a thing in there called a bucking. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of that in the video. And basically, it's around the barrel. like It goes right over it, and it goes back. And um, up here, I can find a... Um, let me pop up unit. Or, like, for example. Man, there's no hop up unit here. I don't want to disassemble this one. This one's pretty cool. You know, fuck it. You're, you're spending a lot of money. I'll do it for you. So I just. Like, we take them apart, pop this thing off. This is off the AK one. They're all made differently. Um. Here. Here's the bucking. Um, if you look into the barrel, like you see, there's the barrel, right? Push down on here. This little thing extends in the barrel. Basically, when the BB hits it, it uh, it gets a backspin. It spins backwards. It gives this thing called the magnet. Gives it this thing called the Magnus effect which basically means it makes it fly. There's a little thing in here called the uh, the nub. I'm trying to get it out. This is a little piece of plastic. And um, basically, if you were to look in here, there's like a little slot. Like, a, like, it's a, like this whole thing, it's just a tube, right? And you have this tube right here, and there's a little hole right up here. It's right, it's right, right over here is a little hole. And that's where the um, the nub goes into here. And basically, if you were to look at this, like you see how hot beans doing this one hand. You see how when you were to push this thing down like this, it it, uh, it pushes a thing down in there. That's the um, that's like adjusting the hop up, All right? And basically, what happens is it pushes the nub down onto the uh, little the hole in the window, which I'll, I'll show on a different barrel. I don't want to take the bucking off. I have a lot of barrels. Um, there's a little hole here, you know. So probably, it, 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 you get how it works, right? Nub pushes into there, this, 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 right? So let's get into our hop. Basically, uh, this is like a, I haven't really gotten the right material for it. This is me doing it like firsthand. It looks like shit, all right? But basically, um, the difference between this and this is there is a, um, I wasn't even pointing the camera at it. This and this is, there's a larger contact patch for the for this right here. Because this is just like, it's just like this bit of shit inside of the uh, the bucking. Like it's it's oddly shaped. You know, it's like two squares in there or something. Maybe they're a bit round. Basically, this is all, it's, com it's a lot longer. And it wraps like all around the BB. And basically, there's nothing better than this at all, other than this, other than like um, ER hop, which is um, they 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 make this like a lot longer, like the the window, like they just straight up get like a file or a Dremel and go, this is like make this window longer, right? And they stick an even longer patch on there, which makes it even more stable with heavier BB weights. But uh, don't say my name. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a video. What was I talking about? Yeah, um, it's it's um the longer window is indistinguishable from the uh, shorter window when you're using like lower FPSs and stuff. But at the FPS that I'm recommending you do, uh, it's, uh, it 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 does. But I wouldn't. It, it's it's too hard, man. It's way too hard. You have to make it flat. 
you have to make the uh, like you see how there's the uh, bit right here like it's it's down in there you have you know like that it's got to be all flat so you can get a so it's not like weird or anything it's, it's going to affect it it's really going to affect it because it's this is affecting the whole flight of your BB like you can't fuck this up like even a little bit and it's not hard to not fuck up it's actually pretty easy you just have to use a method that's like proven and stuff um, so there's this is the barrel part um, the, the hop up part uh, if you want to get your barrel working right like really good you have to lap it which is um, they basically it's like it's polishing but it's also got like some gritty stuff in it and basically what it does is scratches the barrel but not in the way that you think. Not like with scratches, it makes it bad. It, um, from what I've heard, uh, like all of the techs say, I've never actually done it. I've just polished my barrel. It works fine. You can just polish it instead. I'd recommend polishing it. I don't know what the fuck lapping does. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Um, but basically, uh, it's, it's, it's like these things are obviously like they're flawed and stuff. You know, they're they're not perfect. So and polish it, it's a lot smoother, so it's, it's going to make your gun a lot more accurate, obviously. Uh, this is a steel one, I recommend steel over brass, but if your gun comes with brass, which it will, I, I guarantee you there's no way SEMA started making guns with uh, brass barrels, they started making them with steel barrels and then went down to like brass or something, that'd be hilarious. Um, yeah, there, there's that. Um, why I want you guys to shoot a really, really high velocity is, um, not really, really, really high. So, like, you guys know your hit, and the time to target is a lot less. Especially with heavier BBs. Because if you use lighter ones, um, I, I'll, uh, I'll stick a thing in the description that, that shows, like, a link. It, it, it's going to be a link. And it's going to be, like, a big old article thing showing, like, the time to target and all that. Basically, point two O's. They eventually slow down to the point, like their terminal velocity in the air, whether it's with a magnus effect on or off. It's way too low for anyone to feel it, and because they're so light, they're going to be a lot less accurate at distance at the distances. So you might as well just be shooting point four O's, which is like twice the weight of it. This is a this is a regular little two eight. Um, like I'll, I'll show you an example. Like this is the terminal velocity of it. I'd say like it's. See that? You can hear it. It's audible, right? I think this is actually a 2.5. That. Point two O's don't, they don't do that. And it seems like, oh, it's not that much lighter, but it, it, it's, it's, it's significant. Like, this is, it's, the zone for you feeling that is, like, within the point two. 0.225 to like 0.235 area, depending on like the consistency of the construction of the BB, because they're all made to like different qualities, which is why I recommend GNG. Uh, that's the one I use. Uh, it's it, it, the best ever, which is just, it's just awesome. Really cheap, real good. You're not going to spend shit tons of money on them, especially if you're using 0.32s. Because I, I use two eights, my gun doesn't shoot too hot. Um, yeah, you're gonna need two, 0.32s or 0.36s or 0.40s to um, really get the um, the range out of your gun and um, get the accuracy out of it. Because you're trying to simulate like real firearms, and what's the best way to is, is there any better way to do it other than um, get the most uh, viable BB option, whatchamacallit. I'm not good with words. Uh, which is the point four L. Because if you're going higher than that, you're going to start going to ceramic BBs, which cost like a dollar each. I should you not. They're like a dollar each. That's not going to be fun for that budget. While point three twos or point four O's are like uh, twenty dollars for like five hundred of them, you know. Point three twos are, point four o's are like twenty dollars for like five hundred of them to like a thousand, maybe. Um, 
1,000, 1,500, somewhere around that range. It varies between brands and stuff. Um, while point three twos, it's like twenty dollars for a kilogram of them, which is probably around like oh yeah, a kilogram of point three twos is exactly two thousand seven hundred fifty BBs. I just read that up over there on my computer. Um, yeah, mid caps you can get anything, anything man. This is a mid cap. I had a mid cap somewhere around here as a high cap. You could probably use those, I guess. But you want to simulate like real military stuff. Yes, this is a real mag. Yeah, we got guns. Um, God damn it. Oh, I should be in here. Nope, not in here. Oh, yeah, this, this, this looks exactly like that. It's just, it, it basically, you would have a little spring that goes down here like this. And that's where you stick them in there. You just stick 30 rounds of whatever shit you want in there. And you just buy a bunch of them. <sighs> yeah. Or maybe stick enough in there to get them to feed. Uh, there's certain methods to do it. I, I, you could probably get like winding mags or something. I don't. I don't know, man. There's there's a lot of weird things. I don't know anything about magazines other than Simon High Caps kick ass phones they got in here. They feed .28s perfectly fine, so I assume they'd work perfectly well with .32s. But I don't know, would you really want to have shit tons of banana mags in like a plate carrier that isn't even made for banana mags? Banana mags. 7.62 mags or 5.45 mags. I recommend 5.45 because you probably use the uh, default stuff as a real stain egg. But, you know, yeah. 545 by 39, 556. It's about the same size to me. It's the same. Basically the same size. You could use these in your in your M4 mag pouches. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Just that, you know. The method of delivery into Okay, I'm I'm just overcomplicating things because I'm stupid. But yeah, the way it uh, goes into the gun is different, obviously, you know, like that, Maybe a bit tougher, but it, it, the difference between this and the, like, M4, it's, it's not really that much, I mean, it just, this just weighs seven and a half pounds, you know, I assume you guys put a bunch of shit on your gun, and if you don't, it's, it's no biggie, um, probably loaded, like, Seven, six, seven pounds. I, I don't have an M4. I have a 20 inch AR-15, nine, nine pounds. It's pretty comparable, I guess. But um, it's just a better platform, all right. You, your M4 is gearbox is going to fucking explode under the uh, under the any, any spring really. They, they, they just suck, all right. It's got to get some AKs. They suck ass. They, M4 suck ass in airsoft. People don't really know, that's why everyone keeps buying them. They, they just suck. Um, this fucker has been going on for like 30,000 rounds. That's not really that much of a record. These things go for like, you know, go up to like three, 300,000 and then they fail. Sometimes they go even farther to like 1 million. Actually, not really, no. They don't go to 300,000 and fail. Most people keep them for like 300,000. So people have really like done the kind of shit that I'm recommending and had them run like forever. The gearbox shells, they just they just like don't like break. The, the version two gearbox shells break all the time, and this thing especially won't break with a sorbethane pad in them. Um, the sorbethane pad is really for um, your piston durability and or and not and or I'm stupid and your like shell durability. So just in case you get like a lemon, you know, you know lemon is a bad product, whatever. Um, it's, this is good. The, the, the Sorbo plus version 3, really good combo. Um, and because you guys are going for accuracy and stuff, like, as you, it's milsim, you gotta simulate military experience. Real, like, airsoft milsim is not that. It's just, it's just people running their guns on semi-auto. That's it. It's just semi-auto with expensive gear. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty silly. Um, yeah, I guess that's 
I gotta charge this fucking thing. Um, yeah, they have a good barrel length, blah blah blah, all this, all that. Um, CMO three ones are great. Um, get get it. You just gotta get some M one fifty springs. You know, M one fifty. I'd say M one forty, M one thirty five. I would keep you in that range. I'm on Ford. No, I'm on 50. I'm on 50. Maybe an M160. You got to, I'd say, stay at like 500 feet per second. And um, because you're getting the shorter barreled rifle, like it's going to be like down over here, like a shorter barreled AK, because the, I want you guys to have a 363 millimeter barrel. That's, that's 14.5 inches. Um, basically, if you replace the cylinder, i.e., um, i.e., as, as means like example, as, as for like the uh, this goes. I bought this on eBay for twenty five bucks. I'm not, I'm not like shitty at teching. Um, the, the, the cylinder right here. Um, the ones that come with it have ports like this, and basically uh, you don't want that because there's a certain amount of air in here, and it fills a certain uh, barrel length. And basically, the one for this is like for 500 millimeters. I'm using a 430 in here, which is fucking great, spectacular. Um, basically, the one that's gonna be your gun is me 363 millimeters, and basically, it's gonna be it's shooting a lot harder with the heavier BBs because um, the heavy BBs they start slowing down at a certain part of your barrel if you have like a default gun, it's like a regular airsoft gun. They will slow down within like like this this certain length like right around here 0.32s 0.36s it'll slow around like they just like right in this area 0.28s will be like over here you know because it, it takes a lot less um a lot, lot more air to push it forward that's why whenever you see someone which you i know you have but you never play the sport when they stick heavier bbs in their guns their guns get a lot quieter because um they're over volume for 0.20s because the um, the manufacturers want us to use point two fives, and um, they're like volume really point two five. So you stick an even shorter barrel on there, and it's great with point two eight. You know, um, yeah, that, that's that's about it. It's, it's, there isn't really like a there's a concrete math behind it, but I, I wouldn't say get I don't I wouldn't say you get too much into it because then you're gonna start using like. 300 millimeter inner barrels. That's 11, 11, 12 inches uh, length, in length, and that's not really uh, something to simulate the M4's uh, barrel length. That's a that's a 70 for you. You, you don't want to use a 70 for you. That's that's way too far away from what you have. I don't think your guy's gonna accept it. You gotta tell your guy, your your um your commanding officer guy or whatever. To, to like about the AK being um, an actual viable platform for this, which the M4s aren't. They, they just they just aren't, man. They they fucking aren't. Your gun is going to fail within like 50,000 rounds, and that's if you're lucky, right? It's gonna fail within like 30,000 regularly. Just 30,000. What I put through this in like six months of just plain airsoft, around like 30,000 rounds. I went through probably like 10 bags of BBs. And it, it's still running fine, All right? With your gun using that spring, even with a sorbo in there, it's like I said, thirty thousand. It's with with, it, with this AK, forever, basically forever. It's un, unless it's the yeah, lemon or whatever. Um, I don't know. It, it's not that much information other than that. I mean, I am going to also link in the. Uh, the uh, the guide on how to disassemble and how to maintain and how to like tech and stuff like all of the things about it and it's gonna be in there it's gonna be a little like thing you're gonna have to watch because I want you should be the guy that fixes this stuff so because they'll, they'll be like who's gonna fix the things they're breaking will be like look at me I know everything about every all the things and he'll be like okay that's cool uh, yeah I uh, the sites. You know, it's not the same. It's whatever, man. It's 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 whatever. You, you guys are gonna train with both guns. You're gonna have the M4 ones at the shooting range, right? I mean, just have this as an AK. If you don't like that, uh, you could probably get AKs with rails on them, so you stick like a red dot or something. Or or you could just buy one of those um one of those um 
leaf site. This is what it's called. It's a leaf site. Uh, if you look at the, uh, it's actually like a stolen uh, thing from uh, the German SCG 44 thing. Like they had this identical, like identical sites, and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kalashnikov was like, "No, we're, we're gonna take that. It's ours now," and they did. Basically, there are ones that are pinhole. Yeah, they, they have pinhole leaf sites and have the little ring over it, so you can, you know, mimic the thing. Bob, probably get a mag pull grip on there. You want, I don't know, I don't think it matters. It's just a grip, uh, adjustable stocks, you know. You could probably get some uh, other things. I don't know what your budget is, you know. I do want you to get a SEMA so you can, uh, like, you don't spend a lot of money on it, which would really convince the fuck out of your guy. But uh, the most you'll spend on just one of these guns would be like 150 bucks, just somewhere in that ballpark. Um, and that's not like well, it's an unknown. I just really haven't estimated it because it's going to be this gun to have to get a spring, which is like seven to maybe seven to like fifteen dollars. Um, you you get the uh, R hop material, which is seven to ten dollars. You know this this stuff. Mine was like three dollars. Um, you um, you get the BBs, which are they're they're kind of expensive, I guess. A bag of a bag of them is like I said twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for a bit under three thousand. Um, lapping it, it's going to cost like five dollars because you have to buy the thing for it and like for the other guns. Um, not like for each gun, it's going to be five dollars. You just have the thing on there. Uh, glue to glue the thing in. As if you can see it, it's uh, it's like super glued in place. Like I guess this is a shitty job. This is what it looks like when you have one of them that's um that's like too thick. Because mine was like 4.7 by like 8 millimeters thick, and it was it was garbage. It was the worst thing ever. Don't do that. Do not do that. Get 6 by 8. This, that's the dem that's the dimensions of the barrel. It's it, the inner dimension. Denter, did, I'm having a stroke. The inner um, diameter of this in this barrel is um, six six millimeters, and the outer diameter is like eight. You know. So this thing is gonna be like one millimeter thick. The, the the this part right here it's like one millimeter thick they just wanted like a normal ass dimension on there uh, that's about it and also um, when you have a higher FPS you get a longer range especially with our house a lot longer range and um, oh yeah and also you might need to upgrade the motor which is in the grip I have I have this thing I gotta get a screwdriver you know yeah, I was a little Eh. I'll cut it out of the video probably. I don't know, it's it's a motor, it goes right there. Right here, this is where the motor would go. You have like motor mounts and stuff. It's a fucking motor man. It goes right there, you just get a new a new one, like a JG blue. So they're called. Look up JG Blue. They're like for say, 36 bucks. So you get a gun. They're like a hundred dollars. Uh, with shipping, it's like you know a lot more than that. Um, you get the motor. It's 36 plus like this stuff. 100 plus 36 plus uh, 10 plus 10. So you're 46, 156. But they're most likely going to be under 10 dollars. So it's going to be under that. Um, BBs. Yeah, Sorbethane. Oh yeah, Sorbethane. Yeah, it's cheap as fuck. Um, off Evike, you can get them in bulk, like in straight up in bulk, for um, not like in bulk, man. Like like, just, like if you just buy shit tons of them, that's what I want you to do. Just buy shit tons of them. Um, you you get the uh, it, it, it's good. It, it, they're like two dollars each, man, for like a little pad. And you have to get two of them for each gun. Uh, one that's one fourth of an inch and seventy duro. That's what I have in here, 70 Duro, because uh, you're using the M150 spring. Um, 70 Duro, maybe 80 Duro, which is Duro, you could just Google it. Duro is the, um, it's the uh, durability of the thing, as in, like, how uh, how tough it is. You know, like, you have a, you have a tough steak, you know, badly cooked, is just tough, 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 tough uh, sorbo in there, sorbethane, or it's, it's a rubber. It's actually a sound dampener. It does dampen the sound. It makes it a lot quieter. So, 
you know, you know how like um, when pe when people shoot each other, they they get hit before they hear the sound of the gunshot because you know uh, bullets are supersonic, and you know speed of sound is like a thousand one hundred feet per second. Yeah, th th that. Uh, there's some other things too. Um, like if your gun has bad shimming, because they can come with bad shimming, which is um, you see how there are these little things right here, hole here, hole here, what hole here. This is not for our gear. Other things that go in here are called bushings, and they are. I, I have I I'm I I'm missing stuff. All right, I don't like if they're in the garage and stuff. Um, these little bushings right here. See that? They go into here, and basically. Um,